All right. So uh, a couple of weeks ago, I actually graduated from college. I graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Isn't that awesome? I know. You can go ahead and pause the video right now if you want to and just applaud me for a second. That would feel so good. Actually, please don't do that. That's really dumb. I don't know why I suggested that. So I graduated and my graduation ceremony would have been a few weeks ago. But because of COVID, thank you, COVID, so much. Very grateful. I didn't get to go since I graduated from Liberty University, which is down in Virginia, which is in America, and the borders are closed. So, you know, I didn't get the whole cap and gown and everything, so I couldn't get a cool pictures to, like, put on the Facebook and get a bunch of likes, because everyone knows that that's, like, one of the must-have pictures on your profile picture list on Facebook. Like, you know, it's up there with the first profile picture, the awkward mirror selfie profile picture you had at one point, engagement, marriage, those come before graduation if you go to a Christian college or university usually. And then of course, university graduation, that's a huge one, that one has to be in there. You need to get it in for the likes. But I didn't get to do that. So I decided I have to have some of those cool pictures. So what I did was I went to Dollarama and I picked up some supplies to make sure I can create a super cool graduation photo. So I got myself a poncho. There you go. It's even got the hood and everything, which makes it primo as a gown. I got a big old uh, poster board. There you go. That'll be used for the cap. Then I've got some laces for the little stringy on top. And what else? I've got some scissors because those will come in handy. A uh, good old Sharpie because I got to write an inspirational message on my cap. So yeah, without further ado, let's just hit the B-roll and build this thing. This cap and gown thing. Make it cool. Let's roll the cool music. Obviously, it's not the same day anymore and continuity doesn't matter, but it's graduation day. I've got my cap, I've got my degree, this scarf, thanks mom, and I'm here for the super dope graduation pictures. So I'm going to introduce my photographer, which is a really good buddy of mine, Patrick. I'm not being sarcastic for once, but like we're going to take some dope pictures and I'm going to socially distance myself so Patrick can come and say hi. Hi guys, I'm really honored to be here celebrating with my good friend Adrian um, on this momentous occasion of his graduation. I know he's worked super hard um, to accomplish this and I wish him all the best in his future um, studying and careers and whatever God may have for him. I will welcome him back on the socially distant stage. Thank you, Patrick. It's an honor to be here. All right, let's get some go pictures. This is not gonna work. Continuity. Continuity, it doesn't matter. Exactly. So that's how I can confirm that my hair has continued to grow. Even though it's taken me like over a month since I started filming this video and I got a buzz cut in that time. That's cool. Now 
I can see how continuous this video truly feels, right? It's been so much fun though, putting those edits together. They took so long to make, but they were really fun. It was a great like creative fun outlet for me. But now I would like to say something a little bit more from the heart that I actually like really do mean and hope to encourage and inspire you with. But first, let's just change back into the cap and gown graduation outfit for that. Oh, it didn't work. Nope. Whoa, that worked. Wow. And those definitely aren't a few transitions that you've definitely never seen on TikTok or anything, right? <laughs> That'd be crazy. That's so original of me to do those transitions. Anyways, so let's just go to a park where there's hopefully not too many people, so it's not too embarrassing for me to be recording myself and talking like straight into a camera, but let's just go find a park. <laughs> okay. We made it. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about graduating and like what that means and stuff. So I know that this isn't the graduation that you've hoped for. It's not the one that I hope for. This is like for my fellow graduates here, but I understand that life is unpredictable. And this is the end of this particular period of time for our lives, for, you know, fellow graduates again. So for me, it's the end of my undergraduate journey, which has been absolutely crazy, where I started online, then moved across the country to study at Trinity Western University for a couple years. And then I ended up coming back for the last couple years of my undergrad degree to do it online with Liberty. And none of that I could have predicted myself. I originally thought I would be going to Bible college for a year and then coming back to study at a local university here in Montreal, but that did not happen. One thing I know though, is that in everything that's gone on, I've been able to trust God and he's shown himself so faithful and he will always be faithful. And I just want you to put your trust in him completely. I know that the way things are ending right now isn't how you would have wanted them to end and right now I'm here and I was hoping it would be a nice sunset while I filmed this video but it isn't the sky is like gray and ugly and here let me just take a picture there you go boom all right so that's what the sunset looks like here and I know for a lot of us, graduation was supposed to be this huge momentous occasion where we were gonna get to celebrate and rejoice over like, you know, the crazy time that there's been in school, whatever it's been for you, like elementary school, middle school, high school, uh, college, university, master's, doctorate, whatever. But there's still an opportunity to rejoice in spite of that because you've accomplished something within your education. So let's celebrate. Woo! Woo! Congratulations. Oh, this is awkward. There's people watching now. That's gonna suck to pick up. Don't litter. I'm gonna pick this stuff up afterwards. Okay. So one thing in all of this though that I do want to say is that if you feel like you suddenly have more value just because of an educational achievement that you've made and accomplished, that's not what it's about. And I want to really plead with you to truly trust the Lord with your entire life. And if you don't know him, give your life to him right now. This is the most important thing you could ever do. So please, if you don't know him, trust him. He is so faithful, he is all powerful. He's the only one that can save us from death itself. And he loves you tremendously. And that's the only way that I'm able to sit here today with this, you know, stupid thing that I made to celebrate the fact that I've been able to graduate after having gone on absolutely crazy adventures, I guess, for my education and being just, you know, just being able to go to a school for two years that I wasn't able to afford and do that whole thing and come out completely debt free. So you might be looking at this next season of your life coming up and it looks just like the end of one season and into more gray, just like this sunset right here, where it's just like this bleh gray sunset and after this just comes darkness and you're not sure what to put what to hope in and you just feel like there's no light at the end of the tunnel but Jesus is the light and in every situation we are to hope in him we are to trust in him we are to love him but yeah I just wanted to let you guys know that you are loved you are cared for and none of that has anything to do with what you've accomplished in life. 
It all has to do with Christ's all-surpassing love for you. It's unlike anything else that this world can offer. It's unlike anything else that this world wants to tell you with your worth being based on what you achieve. Your worth is pricelessness to him. It cost him his life. Yeah, just turn to him. Give him your entire allegiance, everything. Surrender all you have over to him. It's so, so, so worth it. And not just for this age, especially for the age to come. And for the times that are ahead of you in your life, just let that all go. Let your dreams go. Let everything that you want out of life go and just surrender it to the Lord so that He can bring about His dreams and His desires for your life. Because His ways are so much higher than our ways. He knows so much better and He has you here for a purpose which is to glorify Him and He wants you he wants to use you to make Him known. He wants to use you to reach others. And that's so priceless. That's all I have to say right now. Thank you for watching. If you've stuck around this far into the video, like that's huge. Thank you so much for watching. And that's it for now. If you graduated this year, major congratulations. Love you guys. Definitely should have thought of this before. Why did I decide to do it on a bleacher? This is for those of you who don't believe me that I'm actually picking all these up. This is the fun part. There you go. Picked up all the scraps I could find. <sighs> this is awkward once it actually starts. Okay. So, without further ado, hold on. What were all the things I wanted to say? Hmm. I just kind of stopped now. I don't really know what to say anymore. So, hopefully, a park where there's. I'm. Um, no, wait. Do this again. Ready? Ah! Oh my gosh, I'm doing so many takes of this. Whoa! One more time. And. Uh, that's so What's a me? A Super Mario! Whoa! Alright! So there's a couple. Now, what am I doing? Let's try that again. No, let's, let's do that again. Everything's falling off my bed because I'm just making a mess of this. Anyways, I don't know what to say. Let's try that one more time. Truly feels, right? Um, <laughs> but I just blank. Ah, why am I blanking so much? Here's to hoping I say something that makes sense, since this is all gonna be like right off the cuff. <laughs> all right, I did not bring my degree. <laughs> ah, all right, here we are. Okay, so. <laughs> but it's the end of a very unique time, right? So right here, it's right around I'm going to restart. This is gross. All right. There you go. We made it. And I just wanted to talk about like graduating and stuff in general. Oh, no. 